The state corrections department says it is making progress in the fight to shut down illegal cell phones inside prison walls. A pilot program launched earlier this year was able to turn off hundreds of phones inside Lee Correctional. News 19's Becky Budge has the details. I was shot not because I was evil or corrupt, but because I developed a contraband team that was the best in the state. 13 years ago, former contraband captain Robert Johnson was shot several times at his Sumter home. He says the hit was ordered by an inmate at Lee Correctional using a cell phone he shouldn't have had. I'm here to encourage you to give the Department of Corrections as much help as possible so that no one, absolutely no one, goes through what I've gone through in the last 13 years. On Tuesday, Johnson, along with the state corrections director, Brian Sterling, asked state lawmakers for funding to crack down on contraband in prisons. Well, with technology, these folks are able to reach out and hurt people on the outside, um, and I think we have a solution. In 2021, the FCC agreed to allow prisons to get phones shut off by going through phone carriers. According to Sterling, the pilot program officially launched in July. Each cell phone has a unique 15-digit code called an International Mobile Equipment Identity, or IMEI. Using FCC-approved vendors, the agency identified the contraband phones over a few weeks and provided their codes to AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. The carriers were then able to shut them down. I'll tell you at Lee Correctional, we have um, shut down almost 800 phones. There's 800 avenues, 800 vessels to harm the citizens of South Carolina. For years, SCDC has unsuccessfully petitioned the Federal Communications Commission to jam contraband cell phone signals. Sterling told lawmakers that expanding this program across the state would be the next best thing. Legitimate wall phone calls. They've gone up 57 percent since we started doing this in July. That tells me that they're, this is working. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Well, Sterling says the department is hiring 40 to 50 correctional officers per month.